Welcome back guys. This is my welding helmet that have been held up for several years for me and have been working very very well. But it has stopped to blend down and I suspect that the battery inside is gone bad. And it may be to the fact that I actually haven't been using it very much lately. Uh, if I put that out on the sun it will work for a couple of hours and then the next day it won't work again. Let's tear it apart and see what we can find. First we start with this knob here. That's the blending. And then we remove the inside as well. It's pretty simple to remove the glass itself and exchange that. The question is, can we pick it apart and fix the actual problem? So let's see here. It seemed to have some kind of edge around here where we might be able to bend it up. Other than that, there is no screws whatsoever. So let's do that. I left them in the high and max now, so I know where the, I did have them. And this is how it looks like inside. Seven. Uh, if we take a closer look here, we will be able to see that it is spot. Um, the plastic is actually melted to keep it in place and uh, there is some glue there and a tab there and by scraping those loose a little bit we should be able to actually pop this out Just be very gentle I need to be very careful by doing this and we note that the plus side is on the underside Let's see if we can remove the other one as well now take a look at the batteries they are lithium batteries 3 volt and we had 0 0.7 volt out of them. Let's go and get some new of those type of batteries. Woohoo! Five new batteries. And that's how we do it. As you can see they don't have tabs on them so I need to sort that and have something around them to isolate it as well. So we have the battery here. And we have my spot welder. So let's see if we can get this together without destroying the battery. That's one side and now we need some crimping on it. That's one side. And you just turn them loose like that. And we go back and flatten them a little bit, like so. Somewhere like that. And we take this machine again. It. That should be one of the batteries. So make sure it heat.
so let's try to solder those in place again. But you can see that I can change it and the fact that I, if I do like that, you see through and it blends off. So that is working to reassemble this. looks like it is working yeah so basically that's how you change the batteries and get your Origotech ESAB helmet working again if you don't have equipment to actually weld the tabs back in place you can most likely go ahead and solder them as well if you are having a or if you are doing it quickly and with a rather hot solder iron I don't give any guarantee for that because it's a little bit dangerous and you can also actually buy tabs to hold those batteries in place as well or you can just mount external batteries as long as the voltage in the batteries are correct. And hopefully someone thought this video was interesting and helpful, if so please subscribe, like, give me a thumbs up and comment because that will help me a lot. Thank you and see you next time, bye.